So I finally decided to do the simple task of putting a brake controller in my truck. This is a 1998 Chevy Tahoe. Chevrolet trucks of the 1500 series are about the same. What started out as I thought would be a very simple task is not as easy as I thought it would be because it's almost impossible to get to the brake light switch, which you have to wire to these wires to plug to the controller. I spent about an hour and a half doing research online before I found what I needed to find. And let's get straight to the wires that you're going to need to put this controller in and then I'll show you how I did it. So the first thing that you need to do when you put in a brake controller, of course, is you got to find your brake light switch. And I apologize for the lighting. The lighting sucks. I can see it through this little gap right here. Let's see if the camera can see it. That plastic box is the brake light switch. First thing you realize, you're not going to be able to get to that brake light switch. So, any mechanic knows that that wiring harness is going to run somewhere down around. And, and then, of course, you look up color codes, you find the wire that you need right here. But after continuing to research online, I found what you're looking for is that NAT right there. The terminal to the right is actually switched with the brake light switch. Let's see if I can set up to show you this. Press the brake pedal, put the key on. That is going to save so much time being able to go straight to that terminal. And it took a good while of research to find that. Let's show you where some other wires are. At the back of the truck, inside the frame rail, with this little piece of tape that says disconnect the battery before removing the tape, you will find inside of the driver's side frame rail that little ball of tape right there has a power wire and a brake control wire that will wire to your trailer plug. Now up front, you'll find those wires right there. Wrapped up in some tape. All right, again, sorry about the lighting and stuff on some of those shots, but the reason I did that real quick is to show you right up front where the wires are at that you're gonna to need to hook up the brake controller because that's probably all you need to know and you can probably read instructions to put your brake controller in. Um, I'm gonna continue on with putting the brake controller in if you're interested in watching all that, but if you've got instructions, you know where the wires are at now, it should be easy. All right, now where do I start? I think I'll start by putting this in. This has just gotta be put level either on the Kick panel on the side, or kick panel on the inside, center console, not up like this, or any of that kind of stuff. So, anyway, that should be easy enough to do. I think I can handle that. So, in this truck, I don't have too many options on where to put it. It's going to end up somewhere over here. Whoops. Yeah. It's going to end up somewhere over here. I just gotta make sure that it clears the emergency brake pedal and such as that. So putting it over here is gonna leave it either susceptible to the wires getting kicked when you're pressing the brake pedal or when your foot's down there, or not gonna leave me enough room at the back to get the wires plugged in. So I've come up with an idea that's much more complicated as always. I am gonna put it up here make a small bracket for it to mount to. That'll get it completely up out of the way somewhere in that position.
So I decided not to video all of the connecting of the wires. Here's a couple shots of the bracket that I made and a couple shots of the wires where I ran them through the firewall to get out into the engine compartment. Put a grommet through the firewall to protect the wiring. And this is where the wires are all going to connect up to each other to the wires that go under through the truck that I showed earlier. And here's the location that I decided to put all my controls in. So where do we start? We start by firing the electrician. So according to my little wiring diagram that I looked up, which I looked up yesterday before I wired this, trailer brakes are supposed to be down here in the bottom corner. This is your ground. That's 12 volt auxiliary. Watch the light when I hit the trailer brakes. Awesome. Somebody wired that one up backwards. All right, take it back apart, rewire it. So the blue and the orange are swapped. Luckily, I don't have 12 volt auxiliary hooked up in the front yet, otherwise trailer brakes would have came on immediately and I don't know what that would have done to them, if it would have blown a fuse or if it would have just smoked the trailer brakes. I don't know how I got these backwards, but I did. See if I can hook them up exactly the same way they were, huh? Wouldn't that be great? You have to have the fun of doing a job twice. All right, I'm just gonna wrestle all this back together, put it back up there, and we'll test it again. road test time. Well, at least driveway test, then road. Yes, I can definitely feel trailer brakes. That's trailer brakes. They work. Now the only thing I can do is put a load on it and see how well it works loaded. But you can definitely tell that it's helping slow down. Well, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I definitely hope this video has helped somebody out because it took me a while to find the information of where to find all that wiring underneath this truck, especially that little connector at the fuse box. That saved so much time. And again, thanks for watching.